So to our next match, and we're back to a mixed doubles. It's the pair from Malaysia, Tanak Kwan and Lai Pei Jing, up against the Chinese combination of Tao Xiaoming and Tang Xinhua. Three, four, black. Uh, three, four. So the Malaysians there in the yellow shirts. And Aikwan, the left-handed 22-year-old. is about to celebrate her 21st birthday in three days' time. Thursday, she'll turn 21. So, Tan and Alai, number 18 in the world rankings. Second-ranked Malaysian pair in the mixed doubles, but of course, Champion Soon and Go Liu Ying up in the top six in the world ranking. But their confirmation that the Malaysians turn Ai Kuan and uh, Lai Pei Jing up against Tao Xiaoming and Tang Jinhua of China. Now it's going to be very interesting to me to see. Tao Xiaoming because he hasn't played an international match since the semi-final of the Macau Grand Prix gold. That was the 1st of December last year and there you can see their win-loss record for the year. Illustrates the fact that they have not played as a pair in 2013. Tao Xiaoming, 27 years of age, and there his partner Tang Jinhua, 21 from Nanjing in Jiangsu province. They have actually won one title playing together. That was the first ever tournament they played. That was the Thailand Grand Prix gold last year. What a way to start a partnership. But since the end of last year, Tao Xiaoming seems to have been overlooked. So there is Lai Pei Jing, who will be celebrating her birthday on Thursday, her 21st uh, birthday. Formed their partnership back in 2010, just one tournament that year. There's the left-hander, the 22-year-old, Tan Aikwan. And they've had a pretty good start to the year. Eight tournaments played, reached the final of the Malaysian Grand Prix gold event, lost out to Praveen Jordan and Vita Marissa in that final five quarterfinals so there are a pair this Malaysians who regularly do well in tournaments they're a very consistent pair hence their world ranking up to number 18 in the world there is the 27 year old who's been conspicuous by his absence from the world scene and the Chinese coaches Missed the first meeting between these two pairs. Jeremy Gang. Ladies and gentlemen. Malaysia, the mixed doubles coach. My right. Tang Jin Ho, Teo Jiang Ming, China. My left. Lai Peijing, Tan Aikwan, Malaysia. Tang Jinhua to serve to Tan Aikwan. On the ball, play. So the Chinese combination nearest to us, Tao Jiaoming and Tang Jinhua. for Tang Jinhua. She's the number two seed in the women's doubles playing with Ma Jin. So she two. will be hoping for a very Love. busy week here in Guangzhou. Over. 
Now in the mixed doubles, I'm sure we'll see a real contest between the two women on court. Who can control the front court area? Who can dominate at the net? Very much a key to mixed doubles success. a sign of lack of match play Two, three. Here on the serve when the pressure is on it's very very different to the practice courts Yay. it's been twice a world championship quarter finalist has tell jarming with two different partners paris in 2010 was finalist with jan yawen and then two years ago in London with Tiang Ching. So he's a very versatile player, is Tao Zhaoming. long former world junior champion Tang Jinhua in fact two world ju junior championships running reached the final gold in the women's doubles in Malaysia in 2009 then a year later in Guadalajara in Mexico lost in the women's doubles final Clever smash. Yeah! And then going for a very so acute so angle. Turn like one. Very imposing on that return of serve. He's a tall man. Over. He is Tao Jarming. 187. That's about six foot one and a half. serve yeah set the whole tone of the rally when you've got a left-hander and they smash cross court of course the obvious shot is to play it back straight defensively but then your partner as a right-hander is gonna 
They'll be waiting for that straight reply. Very much a set play by left and right handers. Seven. Eight. Well, I wonder how much focus Tang Jinhua will have on the mixed doubles considering her seeding position in the women's doubles, the number two seed. Because, of course, the winner of this mixed doubles first round will play against Chu Xi'an and Bao Yixin. And the Chinese pair in the second round. So back level once more, the three-point deficit has been closed. Taken. Lai Pei Jing. Nine. Eight. Taking the shuttle early. Ten. Oh, yeah, that's nice too. Goodness me. Ten. Eight. Five straight points. From five eight adrift to lead ten eight. Yeah, make that six straight points. Eleven, eight, very, very ball. well played by the Malaysians. And it really does look to me as if Tao Xiaoming is. Just a little off the pace. That's the problem of not playing international tournaments for such a long time. Nine months. Anyway, confirmation, just seven minutes of play. They would get through this encounter, and we're still a long, long way off that. I was mentioning that second round opponents had a bye in the first round. Chu Xian and Bao Yixin, a Mal Malaysian pair, that beat them in the first round of this year's Asian Championships. So I fancy their chances, will we, Malaysians? But they've got to get through this first. Whisker. Ten. Eleven. Things can change. Twelve, eleven. Oh dear me! So at least the second error he's made on the low serve.
Well, I have to serve again. Tell Jarming not ready. Low and flat over the nets. Court pushes or just past the net player always very effective in mixed doubles. But really, Lai Peijing should have had that one. Attacking play from Tao Jamming. Eight of the last nine points going in favour of the Chinese pair since the mid-game interval. Extraordinary. It's a good serve. Yeah. Yeah, a slight confusion between the two Malaysians. Each so thought the other was going to take it. Pause the hesitation. 14. it a little higher than that. Over. Again, I'll play cross court. 15, A good rally. Sixteen, seventeen. Ladies and gentlemen, the 
Just one point in it. Oh, my goodness. Well, she has a little look at the service judge. She just anticipated a low serve to the team, wasn't waiting for the one out wide. Luck though, in all fairness. Competing in court two of men's single are Dimitro Zabaleski, Ukraine, and Andrew Hayden, Finland. Just doesn't look as comfortable to me when I'm playing mixed doubles as she does in the women's doubles. And in her women's doubles with Mo Jin. She very much takes the backcourt role. Allows Marge in. Go forward and she does the hard work from the back of the court. Here in the mixed double, she's expected to go forward. Service over. Smile, slightly fortunate there. 19, 19. This is crucial, crucial moments. Well, it seems to me as if we might have a little bit of a problem with our electronic scoreboard again. Oh, I make that 18 all. Oh, good return of serve, set up the whole rally from Tao Jaming. Players are arguing the case as well. Well, the players uh, unfortunately we can't hear what on earth's going on. I thought it was 18 all. Our score graphics came up with the Chinese having won the next point, that it was 2018. I thought it was 1918. Malaysians calling for the tournament referee. I think they have every right to do that. Because I think an extra point has actually been awarded to the Chinese pair. I made it 19 all. The problem is our electronic touchpad has failed to work. One of our deputy referees from South Africa. Well, this is obviously an absolute travesty as far as the Malaysians are concerned. They've accepted that the scoreboard is wrong. Yeah, or if they can just switch it off and we can just 
not have any further confusion. Yampa. Sorry, it is 1920. Trish Gubb from New Zealand. Well, I fear she's got the score wrong as well. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, well, there's Tan Kim Her, Malaysian head coach, trying to explain to the tournament referee that the Chinese pair have been awarded an extra point. Well, I'm afraid I can't hear a thing from the court. I can't hear the umpire. I can't hear any discussion, so sadly I'm not able to pass on anything that's been said. Well, the Malaysians here pleading their case, but unfortunately, uh, human error. And the umpire, I fear, has got it wrong. I really don't understand why there's such a problem with the electronic scoring. And I also don't understand why umpires don't revert to pen and paper. Ladies and gentlemen, well, Malaysians are refusing to play on. The trouble is, if the tournament referee hasn't been keeping a note of the score of this particular match, not a lot she can do. I wonder if somebody would be wise to ask our service judge, Cornelia Schroeder from Germany is sitting there. She's probably kept an eye on what's happening as well. There's our technical official or our IT person trying to get the electronic scoreboard to work. So here comes the tournament referee. Desperate situation for all players concerned. Junianto Sudanata, the tournament referee. Greta Prinslow is the deputy referee. Everybody's joining in, and what a crucial, crucial moment for this to happen. It really is. Oh, well, that looks as if she has been keeping the score by hand as well. Mm, well, I do wish we could hear what's going on. You should have told the empire beforehand. You cannot wait until 20. Well, without being able to hear what they're saying, I'm as lost as everyone as to what is happening. Get it taken away during the break. Sorry. Thank you. Ten to serve. Well, it's either 19 or or it's 1920. And according to the scoreboard at the back of the court, they've decided on 1920. 1920, play. Well, here we go. Still game point, obviously, to the Chinese pair. Oh, dear, dear, very well. Fault was called. Racket not pointing in a downward direction, but goodness me. 
This is a world championship. And we've got a muddle like that. 21-19, officially the score of that opening game in favour of Tao Xiaoming and Tang Xinhua. Well, whatever the rights or wrongs of the score, whoever was right and whoever was wrong, doesn't alter the fact that the Malaysians will One, feel hard no. done by and what they have to try and do is put that out of their minds and just focus in from the beginning of this second game. Considerably easier said than done. three rallies that the Malaysians are rather deflated. Four. No. No. For them no, it's a tragedy. Body language. Five. Love. Really very dispirited indeed. Oh, it's a huge shame, it really is, because I just felt the match was boiling up to a very, very intriguing battle. And quite frankly, the whole thing's gone rather flat. Oh, I distinctly remember an 18 all at one stage in that opening game. Very, very Seven, important that the two. Malaysians keep their communication going, keep encouraging each other.
Bright Over. idea, wrong execution. Three, nine. as we looked at them. Twice Olympic mixed doubles champion. Also world champion in 2001. Well, once it starts going wrong, there is a danger of it going from bad to worse. And I fear for the Malaysians that, quite frankly, after that shambles, really, at the end of the opening game, they just lost their way a little. Totally understandable, but disappointing from our perspective. Very much looking forward to this virtual because it is very good in the counter. are still talking five. to each other, still encouraging, and Play. Uh, the whole body language to me, maybe still trying, but I'm sorry, I have no control over the scoreboard. It is not working. I cannot change it. Have well, to listen to what I say. Well, there, that was quite clear from the umpire. At least we can hear the umpire now. She said, "I have no control over the scoreboard." Scoreboard wrong again. done by Tang Jinwa. Lovely control. Hopefully that rally will give the Malaysians a bit of a lift, a bit more confidence, a bit more belief. Oh yeah, she's very good at coming forward there. Service over. Tend not to see it that much in 14. her women's doubles because Noah Jin is just so keen to come forward. Well, there's no doubting her talent.
That's 14-6. from Tal Jarming. Always was a very six. tactically astute player. And you may not have played on the international circuit for eight months, over eight months. And still hasn't lost it. Still a very, very clever player. 18. Good defence. Lovely play from Tao Xia Ning. Point away from a second round Quinty. encounter with teammates. Match point seven. Han and Bao Yi Sin. Match point opportunities for Tao and Tang. It's gone long. Oh, it's such a shame. All the confusion. Don't know whether the umpire was right or scoreboard was right. Don't know what was going on, in all honesty. But for players who work all year to build up to these world championships, bitterly disappointing. Yeah, an amazing pair. So Tao Jiaming and Tang Jinhua safely through 21-19, 21-7.
So to our night, next match, and it is women's doubles. And like the last match, it features a Malaysian pair. They go Liu Ying and Lim Yin Lu. Up against the Russian combination of Irina Klipko and Ksenia Polikarpova. She's serving. She's serving? 